This is the Lytra Illum, our second generation light field camera at Lytro. And um, like the first camera, what's really different about uh, this kind of photography and this kind of camera is that it's collecting fundamentally richer data. The way that it works in this camera is that there's a fundamentally different kind of sensor, a light field sensor that records full light fields in every shot, uh, not just a 2D photograph as we've had uh, before Lytros technology entered the marketplace. So it's a, a much higher resolution, much more capable sensor than we had in the first product. This is a 40 mega ray light field camera, which is almost four times more definition than in the first product. We have a totally custom designed light field lens. This is a 30 to almost 250 millimeter zoom, so over eight times, that has a beautiful F2 aperture across the whole range from wide to telephoto, bringing a, a ton of light to the sensor. Here we uh, see a picture that we just took, um, showing the ability to, to you know, change the focus from the front of this little chest of drawers here to uh, these books in the background. State of Wonder, uh, nice title for the little composition that we have here. The way that three-dimensional composition works is to um, compose the depth of field so that there is a three-dimensional range uh, in the picture that we're going to take, in the life of photograph that we'll create. And one of the features of the Lytra Illum is to uh, use the um, enormous amount of computational power that we have here in the onboard processing system to take, as you can see here, the live data off this camera and then provide a visualization that shows um, the range that is in this compositional, compositional zone in three dimensions. So if I change at the focus here, you can see that now the range is uh, far in the scene, signaled by this green uh, overlay. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this range to span the three dimensions of the scene from the foreground, which is in green now, to the background, which is uh, in red. And uh, what this does is to maximize the drama in the scene. Uh, and all of this is being computed in real time. So essentially the depths in the scene are being analyzed in real time given the amount of computational power that we have on board. So if we take this picture, uh, this produces uh, the um, kind of composition that we had before. So the ability to change focus from the foreground all the way to the background, have everything be really crisp and in full three dimensions and yet maximizing the creative range here. Another physical aspect of the product that is really helpful for a creative photographer is we have an articulating screen. So if you're shooting portrait, you can have um, the screen be um, point it in the parallel direction. But you can also lift it up and have uh, the ability to hold it very low for macro photography, for example. This is a really amazing um, macro camera. I'm trying to give you a sense on this. You can compose the compositional range here. Um, if we pull the focus very, very close, we can compose this compositional 3D range so that essentially it touches all the way uh, to the front element of the glass, actually touching the front surface. What we're looking at here is some pictures on an iPad app. These are light field pictures from the Lytra Illum, taken by some of the photographers we've been working with, um, these creative pioneers that have been experimenting with uh, the new kinds of effects that you can get with light field photography. Uh, what you see here is a picture by Anna Weber, and she's exploring in this picture the sensation of discovery that you can get when you change the focus in this picture. So uh, to the woman's eyes, it's writing in this taxi, or to uh, this gentleman with sort of a more sinister look in the background. And one thing you notice is that these are living pictures, so there's control, interactive control over focus, but also a sense of three-dimensionality in the same shot. If I move from picture to picture, uh, you can sense that as well. Just by paging through the pictures, there's uh, a subtle but very immersive sense of the picture being living, that it is three-dimensional. Um, there's also a way to control, uh, if you like, the um, depth of feel in the picture through a gesture, so making a large depth of feel, uh, kind of like making a smaller aperture or uh, controlling by twisting to increasing the aperture to make the depth of feel really shallow. I'm just sort of page through a few shots. Uh, if you can see here, you get a sense of the three dimensionally here, the amount of uh, the drama of the uh, refocus range in this picture. You get a sense of uh, that three-dimensionally just as you're paging through. So each of these pictures is taken with a, the light field sensor that records this fundamentally richer data that provides this sense of three-dimensionality, this digital holography, this ability to change the lens settings uh, after the fact.